WTV Soul Liberty. Well, God is doing great things right now in the, G in the name of Jesus. I know it's well. I know God is moving mightily in the name of Jesus in your life. And today, this week, we are looking at self deliverance. Self deliverance. How to do it yourself. And we will start right away in, uh, in Scripture in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18. Self deliverance. You remember that scripture that we always live by in the book of Luke chapter 1, verse 75, 74, 75, to grant it to us that we're being delivered from the works of, from the hand of the enemy might serve you without fear in holiness and righteousness all the days of our lives. That's the foundation of this, of the, of this uh, ministry. This is our foundation. Where we desire to see through the teaching of the word, through prayer, through counseling, through worship, that many may come in the liberty that Christ brought in Jesus' name. Welcome and God bless you mightily. Thank you. And I know you are sharing. I know you are inviting a friend. I know you are, you are, you are uh, calling someone because what you're going to hear this week and what I'm going to be sharing and teaching you, it may not be part of the CDP, the Comprehensive Deliverance Plan, because we have closed the registration. But uh, this can give you a, uh, uh, like how to do it, how to do it yourself. First of all, it's yourself, but also your household, also your city, your neighborhood, your community. How do you do it? And uh, I, I intend, I want to be as simple, that deliverance should not be a complicated ministry. Deliverance and healing. It should never be complicated. It should be as simple and, you know, there is power in simplicity. I've come. That's why many, many people think you know, it's too simple. Maybe it will not work. But I'm telling you, the simplicity of the gospel, that, that's what makes the gospel powerful. So uh, there is a, I always people want to do complicated things. And when they come for the deliverance or for, for impartation, and the, uh, the work of a good teacher is to simplify the lesson. So there is power in simplicity. And I always tell people, in your life, in your ministry, never be complicated. Be simple. Always, you know, simplicity will bring people around you, but simplicity will position you in a place of teachability where you are teachable. And being teachable means you'll be learning and getting more knowledge and understanding from glory to glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. So. I want to bless the Lord. I want to give glory to God for what he's doing in Jesus' name. And I believe from glory to glory, mighty things are happening. So we are starting this self-deliverance. And today we are looking at self-deliverance from witchcraft. Self-deliverance from witchcraft. And I'll tell you why we start with witchcraft. Praise the Lord. So let's read that Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy chapter 18, and we are starting from verse 9. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9. When you will come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not learn to follow the abomination of those nations. Somebody said, right, abominations. The abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who makes his son all his daughter pass through the fire. All one who practices witchcraft. All a soothsayer. All one who interprets omen. All a sorcerer. All one who conjures spells. All a medium. All a spiritist. All one who calls up the dead. You know, I love the Bible. Do you know why? He, there is no way you can say, I'm practicing this out of God, and it's not mentioned in the Bible. But it, is it evil? You know, he, this scripture summarizes all the practices of the kingdom of darkness, all the things that are about, all spiritual activities that are an abomination which take people in bondage, and people are being delivered. You are being delivered from abominations. So he's saying, number one, to make your son pass through the fire. Number two, one who practices witchcraft. Now, to make your, your son 
parts of the fire. It can cover all the, the tribal cultural rituals. The rituals like tribal circumcision, initiations, you know, mutilations, cutting your body. That one we shall look at it later. But the, here it says, one who practices witchcraft. And they are, they are, the Bible is, is separating them. It says, one who practices witchcraft, all a soothsayer, all one who interprets omens, all a sorcerer. This is that sorcery, witchcraft, they are different. All one who conjures spells, all a medium, a medium, a medium in the family, a medium in the bloodline, a medium in the city, a spiritist. Yes, a spirit. He can even be in church, but he's a spiritist. Mm, I will wonder, I will explain. One who calls up the dead. You know, people who say, my father told me, I will call your grandmother to talk to you who are dead. Who calls up the dead? But the Bible says, for all, those, for all who do the things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For the nations which you will dispossess, listen to soothsayers and diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed you, has not appointed such for you. The Lord your God has not appointed such for you. Today let's start with self-deliverance from witchcraft. I'm not, when you talk about witchcraft, many people, what come to their mind, like things like Wicca, New Age mysticism, or the religion of witchcraft. But it, that is the deeper one, the religion of witchcraft. Like people who practice it. But how, what, how about the people who are victims of witchcraft? Witchcraft in this contest, I want to tell you, is the Christian force, is the, sorry, is a spiritual force, someone says spiritual force, that Christians feel when they are under demonic attacks. When you are under a demonic attack, the f negative force that comes upon you is what we are dealing with. You wake up one morning that there's a heaviness. There's a, you are so low. The discouragement. It is sometimes it is a witchcraft attack. So these kind of spiritual attacks are identified. Spiritual witchcraft attacks can be one, great confusion. Two, wanting to give up and quit. Three, depression. Now, dip, confusion, depression, and wanting to give up. You may be under a witchcraft attack. You may be under a witchcraft attack. You wake up in the morning, you hate your husband, you hate your children for no reason, and you want to move away from them. You wake up in the morning, you hate God, you hate church, you hate prayer. It is a witchcraft attack. You wake up in the morning, you are confused. I see some ministry, they, are, they go through confusion for a whole year. They do not know that the confusion in the worship team, the confusion in the, in the elders, the confusion in the pastor team, the confusion in the, uh, in the uh, ushers, it is a witchcraft attack on the church. A, man, a family can be under a witchcraft attack, a serious witchcraft attack. A company can be under serious witchcraft attack, you are in confusion, people are giving up, people are fighting one another, you are not making profits, and you don't know why the boss is rude, you don't know that why they, they, the staff, they do not take instruction, you don't know why the supplier is not supplying in time, and you don't know why the payments are not coming in time, and you are accused here and there. Sometime, and more often times, it is a witchcraft attack. A witchcraft attack can even cause you to buy what you don't want. Or to give man away and you say, why did I give that? At other times, some people release 
witchcraft assignments through the power of words and controlling actions. They release. So for example, the spirit of witchcraft is a master of diverting attention from itself and turning it towards you. Witchcraft, one of the things it will do, it separates, isolates its victim from friends and family. That spirit that say, don't go to your family, don't go to your friend. And you, because witchcraft loves to isolate you. Witchcraft isolates you. One that is being spiritually attacked often feels the loss of personal identity and self-esteem. Witchcraft will cause you to lose what? Self-esteem and personal identity. Depression. Fatigue can follow your life when you are under a witchcraft attack. And the prominent spirit of witchcraft, the Bible calls it the spirit of Jezebel. The spirit of Jezebel. What is the spirit of Jezebel? The master of manipulation. Any manipulator is an agent of witchcraft. Anyone manipulating your life and take control of you. It is, a man, it is a witchcraft attack. Someone say, I'm free from confusion. I'm free from the spirit of witchcraft, which, has, which brings confusion. Because, you know, witchcraft, a witchcraft attack, drains strength and energy out of you. Drain. And you don't know why you wake up tired, it's like something, I'm talking to somebody right now, you are under witchcraft attack, the energy to pray, the energy to, you know, some, like life is being drained out of you. Life is being drained out of you. And you feel fatigued, you cannot explain. Because witch, witchcraft attack drains the life out of you. And when attacked, you feel tired, depressed, you feel oppressed. You can try to take vitamin, vitamins. You try to exercise. You can run, run five miles. But all that, that does not help. Have you realized that many people, especially Christians, they are tired in the morning. They go to work tired, already tired. They try to take coffee to get strength, but it doesn't. Because they are suffering under a witchcraft attack. Witchcraft is the principal spirit of rebellion. Witchcraft is rebellion. Witchcraft is the grip of controlling darkness upon people and upon territories. Witchcraft is also the blinding spiritual veil. Witchcraft veils you and turn the heart of men away from God. Anything that turn your heart away from God, it, whether it's a song, whether it's a relationship, it is designed in the spirit of witchcraft. Anything that turns you away from God, Anything that controls people. You can find a whole city under the grip of darkness. A whole family under the grip of darkness. A whole church under the grip of darkness. It is also the afflicting bloodline iniquity that destroys destinies. A bloodline iniquity, witchcraft. It's an afflicting bloodline iniquity that destroys destinies. Like, look, 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 take an example. Drunkardness. The destinies in your family. People are destroyed because of drinking. Drunkardness. All destroyed because of adultery. And you see the kind of adultery that your brothers are, are practicing is not just lust, it's witchcraft. You see that your husband is under the yoke of witchcraft 
that the way he fornicates and done, commits adultery, there is witchcraft anger also. There is witchcraft anger, witchcraft bitterness, witchcraft pride, witchcraft fear, witchcraft rebellion. That's why today God is setting you free from the grip of controlling darkness. What are the effects of witchcraft when you are under a witchcraft attack? One, mind control. Mind control may come as mental illness and different disorders. It's a witchcraft spirit. You are under attack. If you see depression, you see mental illness, mental disorders, that is an effect of witchcraft attack which the blood of Jesus and the power in the name of Jesus is going to cast out of your life today in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome and God bless you so much. Thank you for sharing and thank you for inviting a friend because this is very important. We are on the effects of witchcraft. Number two, the second effect is a closed heaven. A closed heaven. It can be a famine. It may be a plague. It may be droughts. When you see plagues like COVID-19, when you see famine, when you see floods, when you see droughts, what is it? It is a, an effect. It's an effect of witchcraft manipulation, high-level witchcraft manipulation. You see, you get what I'm talking about. The heaven is closed. When you see you are in ministry, you are in a family, in your life you are going through a closed heaven. None of your prayers are answered. You'd never see the good result of your prayer. When you serve, you st I've been to places, I've been to altars, to pulpits, where you are preaching and you feel the heaven is closed. And you, if you, you don't have intercessors, to people to tell them, look, there's a witchcraft attack on this sermon. There's a witchcraft attack on this service. Can you rise, break the power of witchcraft? Ask the Lord, what is it the cause? And who is the agent of the witchcraft manipulation? What is the attack on this church? What is the attack on this family? What is the attack on this marriage? So that you can tear the witchcraft attack, which has caused a closed heaven. Witches know through witchcraft manipulation, they know how to uh, project in the spirit and close the heaven. And close the heaven. The Bible talks about the heaven shall be closed if you walk in rebellion. I'm praying it from today. As you get free from any witchcraft attack, your heaven will be open in Jesus' name. You will be under an open heaven because they, at the curses, the words, the spells, the manipulations, the, what the witches of your community decided to cover, to close the heaven, that you feel like over your head is like a bronze. But I thank God for today because that is going to be broken in Jesus' name. Number three, the third effect to witchcraft is slaves to sin. You become a slave to sin. You cannot stop sin like rebellion, immorality. When you see your children immoral and rebellious, when you see yourself always, you cannot break free from a sin. You've become a slave to sin. It is controlling you. You know it is a witchcraft attack. You know it is an effect. Number four, effect of witchcraft four, it is unfruitfulness, miscarriages, barrenness, a barren ministry a barren business. You are unfruitful. You look for 10 years and you don't see fruit of your work. Unfruitfulness is an effect of a witchcraft attack. The spirit of witchcraft brings unfruitfulness. You look at the family and there's no fruitfulness, but God is going to deliver you in the name of Jesus. And this is your season of fruitfulness. This is your season to bear fruit. Your ministers in church, the servants of God, they that you serve with, will be fruitful in Jesus' name. I declare upon your ministry to be fruitful. I declare upon your business to be fruitful. You will increase, you will not be stagnant. There are many barren churches. 
that the, the same people year one, year two, there's no growth. That must end today in the name of Jesus. That you look at your ministry, year one, the, you look at the last five years, there's nothing that has come that has been added to your ministry. Not people, no influence, no branch. And you're saying, we've been doing this for the last 10 years, but why is it that there is no fruit out of our work? It is a witchcraft attack, a witchcraft programmed, a witchcraft assignment assigned to block, to block our fruitfulness. But it, I want to tell you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that that is over. This year is the year of fruitfulness. Yes, in the year when people are talking about COVID and lockdown, this is the year you're going to be more fruitful than before. This is the season for you to see fruitfulness in your children. Your children shall be fruitful. Your body shall be fruitful. Your business shall be fruitful. You shall increase a hundredfold, a thousandfold, if not ten thousandfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, I break the witchcraft attack on your life and I declare fruitfulness in Jesus' name. The month we are going into the month of August is the month of fruitfulness. You shall bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Your children shall bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Your family shall bear fruit in the name of Jesus. You are now expanding and increasing. Oh my God, I pray for you like with the prayer of Jabez that the mighty hand of the Lord will be upon you and the Lord will enlarge your boundaries. The Lord will enlarge your influence. The Lord God will, in the name of Jesus will enlarge and expand your territory because your barn shall be full. Your store shall be full. Your bank account shall be full from the east, the west, the south and the north. Babanas is coming your way because the witchcraft spell is broken off your life by the authority of the word of God, by the authority of the name of Jesus, by the authority that the Lord has released to me right now in the name of Jesus. I take authority and remove every manipulation and every curse that has been released upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give glory to Jesus. No more fruit. And I want to tell you, I'm taking this serious because I'm an authority in that area. I'm taking this serious. To this week, you are delivered from any witchcraft attack. You are delivered from any spell. You are delivered from any spirit of unfruitfulness. You shall be fruitful in the name of Yeshua Messiah. Number five, another effect of witchcraft. It is wasted and scattered lives. Wasted and scattered lives. Oh my God, my father today. Deal with that spirit that has caused these lives to be wasted. Children that went to school, finished university, university, graduated, but they are now wasted. It's witchcraft. It is witchcraft. You look at talented people, gifted, but you find them on drugs, being beggars. They have the knowledge, they have the ability, but the witchcraft spirit, the witchcraft that came on the family has scattered them, has made them, has made them wasted. I'm talking to a parent right now. You say, my, bra my son is wasted. My children are wasted. And I didn't know why. Today, I want to tell you that I was a witchcraft assignment against your womb. And today, I break that and remove that. I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and remove that witchcraft attack, that witchcraft assignment on the seed of your womb. Your children will not be wasted in Jesus' name. So shall it be. Oh, my God, I give you glory. My God, I give you glory. Wasted lives, scattered lives. You look at your father's house, it is scattered. You look at your brothers, you're all scattered. You can't even come together. You can't even show anything for your labor. Today in the mighty name of Jesus, it is over, it is over, it's over. Somebody say, it's over, it's over, it's over. Every spirit, every witchcraft attack that caused your marriage, your husband, to be a wasted man. I'm talking to a lady right now. You're saying, Pastor James, you're talking to me. And you look at your husband. That is not the man you married. But something happened and he's a wasted man. He sits in the house. He's doing nothing. He sleeps and eats. And you look at him and say, where is my man? That is a witchcraft assignment. You look at your son and you say, this is not a son I took to school. 
He may have left the country and went to another nation by, to, for, for, for studies. And when he returned, you said, this is not my son. He's a wasted. Maybe he went into a relationship with a Jezebel woman, a woman he married. And from that time, your son is wasted because of this woman, the Jezebel spirit. But today, in the name of Jesus, the spell, the controlling spirit of Jezebel, the spirit of witchcraft is losing its grip on his life, is broken and destroyed. And your son is free from a witchcraft spirit, a manipulating spirit in Jesus' name. If you believe wherever you are, Say amen. Wow. Glory, glory. God is doing many things in your life. You need to call someone. You need to invite. Share as many times as possible. Because this is the solution. And I'm telling somebody watching. The reason God has brought to this platform today. Is to hear this word. You've been saying. Why am I. You look at your life. You are 40. You are 50. You are in your late 50s. And you say. I'm wasted. I'm not a blessing even to my parents. I'm not a blessing even to my children. You have children here and there. And you're saying, I can't even afford taking them to school. I can't afford even feeding my family. I can't afford even continuing in ministry because my life has been wasted. I'm talking to somebody right now and you're saying you are wasted because of drugs. The addiction was a witchcraft attack. The addiction on drugs. The addiction is which will attack. But I thank God today. Your miracle has come. In Jesus' name. Number five. Number six. The effect of witchcraft attack. Which Number six is ruined and desolate homes. Or failure. Or marriage failure. When you see desolate homes. When you see marriages failing. Is an effect of witchcraft. It's an effect of witchcraft. When you see marriage is just breaking. You see everyone in the family. Now no one has a stable marriage. They that have husbands. They just went and lived with them. They have been cohabiting for the last 30 years. And you don't see fruitful marriages. You don't see home. You know I'm talking about homes that have been ruined. Your father's house is desolate. Your home is desolate. That is a witchcraft, the effect of witchcraft. And last but not least, violence and bloodshed. Violence and bloodshed is a witchcraft, the effect of witchcraft. Where there has been witchcraft in a family or in a city or in a nation, there will be wars, there will be murders, there will be violence, there will be bloodshed. The violence is the mass violence. A whole city now going violent. People are rooting and people are murdering each other and shooting. It is a high level witchcraft spell. The witches, I'm telling them the truth, witches know how to gather and they release witchcraft over a territory, like a whole city. And people become possessed, they become violent. Murderers, they kill, they shed blood because demons operate on human blood as fuel. So the witchcraft, the witches, the manipulators, witches can be a witch can be a politician who through him people are incited to shed blood, can be a leader, can be a false prophet, can be someone in church, can be a, 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 an elder in the land who has mastered witchcraft. By inciting masses, by inciting young people to rape young girls, young men to rape young girls, and shed and kill. So this is what we call effects of witchcraft. So let's proceed in the name of Jesus. If, if you are blessed, say I'm blessed. Whatever you're watching from, the Lord is, my, is blessing you mightily. And this is a teaching you need to keep listening and listening and listen. Why? It's not just a teaching. Now I'm giving you practical things to do. What are the steps? Steps for deliverance from witchcraft. What are the steps? Step number one, identification repentance by confession to uproot iniquities. Write it as I said. Identification repentance by confession to uproot iniquities identification repentance by confession 
to uproot iniquities. That's number one. That's the number stage. You identify like Daniel chapter 9. You see it's our sin. You'd make confession and the purpose is to uproot iniquities. Because it is saying that whether you are under attack or you are practicing, witchcraft is said that in the iniquity, a, 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 a history of a certain sin, a history of a certain weakness recorded in your DNA, a, an iniquity. So identification repentance by confession to uproot iniquity. Steps number two, covenant prophetic actions to establish the authority of heaven. Covenantal prophetic actions. The Holy Spirit will lead you to do prophetic actions. Maybe walk a place. Maybe speak a word. Whatever the Lord will lead you. Number three. Step three. Consistent active prayer altar to maintain the fire. Consistent, active prayer altar. Without an altar, a consistent prayer altar, personal family altar, church altar, there is no way, there is no way you can be free from the speed of witchcraft. Every day there's witchcraft attacks on your life. Every day there's witchcraft attack on your marriage. And what deliver your family daily from witchcraft spirits is consistent prayer altar. Consistent prayer altar. A consistent prayer altar. The church must, the studio, the testation, this, uh, the church, the family, the business must have a consist, must have a fire burning every day. You don't close the business and go home without an altar. You don't close the church and wait on Sunday morning. There must be a consistent prayer altar. Consistent prayer altar. Praise the Lord. Amen. So let's proceed quickly. Uh, number four. The fourth step is prayer of warfare to rout out spirits. So you uproot iniquity. You establish the authority of heaven, you maintain the fire on the altar, and you root out spirits. You cast out spirits. So those are the four steps. Those are the four steps which you should not miss because you need God to lead you in this prayer. It's a sh and it's very easy. One, identification repentance. Two, covenant of prophetic actions to establish the authority of heaven. Like anointing the house. Like anointing yourself, like Holy Communion, like making a declaration. Whatever the Lord leads as a prophetic, a covenantal prophetic action. Number three, consistent active prayer altar for the fire. And number four, there must be a, a you must pray prayer of warfare. I'm telling when it comes to witchcraft, you're not gonna say, Oh, God will deliver me. No. When you are under which you have to attack, you are going to war. There are nights you wake up and just say, I'm not going to just compromise. I'm not going to cry. Even I'm not going to call pastor. I'm going to borrow this and I will not sleep until it's out. I will not let go. I will not let the devil take my son. I will not let the enemy take my wife. Now I'm going to root it out by fire, by force. In the name of Jesus, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. You, there is a day if you are your business, your church, your ministry, your marriage, your life is under a spiritual witchcraft attack. There is a moment to do warfare. Okay? So, what these are things you are going to do. Self deliverance now from witchcraft and its curses. What am I going to do now? Now we are in self deliverance, the real one, the practical one. Okay? Number one, soak every part and organ of your body in the blood of Jesus to clean up. Soak every part and organ of your body, your head, your eyes, 
your nose, your mouth, your liver, your heart, your lungs, your bones, the bone marrows. You're going to soak every part and organ of your body. Why? Because witchcraft manifests in the body. It attacks the soul, but manifests in the body. It comes from the spirit, attacks the soul, and brings confusion. And then the body is affected. So you begin outward. You clean. Okay? And after that, number two. Number one, you soak every part of the organ of the body in the blood of Jesus. I do that every day. Every time I feel confusion. Every time I feel I'm under an attack. Every time I'm going to do ministry. And I know there is a witchcraft attack. I start with soaking my body. Because my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Number two. Circulate the soul with the word and promises of God. Pick the word. Now, I plead the blood of Jesus, but then I get the word of God and I confess scripture. I fill my soul, my mind with the promises of God because the promises of God are yes and amen. So I have a list of my promises which every day I must declare these promises. There are many promises, but there are those specific ones that I have to declare every day and fill my soul with what God promised me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has perceived what God has prepared in store for those who love him. That's a promise of God. No weapon formed against me shall prevail in the name of Jesus. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. All those promises, at least you must have at least 12 of them Praise the Lord. Okay? Number three, forgive yourself and everyone. And forgiveness is a door for the witchcraft spirit to operate in your life. For, and forgiveness, you, it can be, you know, witchcraft, the powers of darkness, they accuse you and also blame you. Then you accuse others and blame others. So forgiving yourself and forgiving others, you close the door. When you see persistent, stubborn witchcraft and repairing witchcraft operating in your life, you just know there's unforgiveness somewhere. There is somewhere you need to forgive, either to forgive someone or to forgive yourself. Mm, forgiving yourself is very important. And number four, renounce bitterness. Renounce bitterness, anger, and hatred. Renounce if there is, whether you know it or not. Because witchcraft and bitterness and anger and hatred, they are the same. They work together. Renounce. Now you're doing self-deliverance. I soak my body in the blood of Jesus. Now I've read, the, I've declared the scripture. I forgive whoever I, has offended me. And Father, I ask for my forgiveness. I forgive myself. I forgive my parents, I forgive my pastor, I forgive my team, I forgive my wife, I forgive my children in the name of Jesus. I release them today. I release them today. I forgive my nation, I forgive my president, I forgive, I release them today. And now, I renounce bitterness. Okay? Number five, open yourself to the presence of God by calling the cleansing fire. Call, open yourself, the presence of God, and say, I call the fire of God. I call the cleansing fire upon my life. 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 I call the cleansing fire. The cleansing fire of the Holy Spirit. My God is a consuming fire. The God who answers by fire. I call upon the cleansing fire now for cleansing. Cleanse me right now. Cleanse me, oh God. Cleanse my bloodline. Cleanse my bloodline. Cleanse my household. Let the holy fire of God cleanse this man. Cleanse this girl. Cleanse this boy. Cleanse my daughter who has, is under a witchcraft attack. Cleanse my son who is under a witchcraft attack. Cleansing fire of the Holy Spirit. 
Oh God, I call forth fire, the fire to cleanse, the fire to cleanse my bloodline, the fire to cleanse my household, the fire to cleanse my children, the fire to cleanse my mind, the fire to cleanse my heart. Father, I have been under confusion, I have been under depression, but let the cleansing fire right now come upon my mind, cleanse my mind, take away fear, panic attacks, anxiety, manipulations, the speed of suicide. Go right now for the fire of God cleanse me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's the prayer you need to pray in Jesus' name. Wow. So, number six, purge the spirit man. Ask for the purging of the spirit man. Amen. Ask for the purging of the spirit man. Let your man, your spirit man be purged. Purge me. Paul, uh, the man of God called uh, uh, in Psalm 51, pray that prayer. Purge me with hyssop. Now pray that prayer right now. A purging prayer. I love it. A purging prayer. Okay? He says, verse 7, 51, Psalm 57. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Purge me. He said, Behold, I was brought again from forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward parts, and the hidden parts you shall make me no wisdom. Then he says, Not only forgive me, not only cleanse me, but purge me now. Purge my spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And after that, you go to the next. Rebuke every work, every habit every weakness, and every demon of witchcraft. Every demon of rebellion, and every demon of stubbornness. Rebuke every work, every habit, and every weakness. Rebuke every work, habit, weakness, and demon of witchcraft, demon of rebellion, and demon of stubbornness. Rebuke the demon of stubbornness. Rebuke them. Rebuke the habits. Rebuke the demons. And next, number eight, lose yourself from, from evil covenants, from soul ties, from vows and evil agreements. Someone say, I lose myself from evil covenants. I lose myself from soul ties. I lose myself from evil vows. I lose myself from evil agreements in the name of Jesus. I lose myself from evil covenants. I lose myself from soul ties. I lose myself from vows. I, live, I lose myself from any evil agreement in the mighty name of Jesus. You've done that already. I know you're doing it mightily in Jesus' name. Wow. Oh, Rikara Baba Kushita. Number nine. Now command iniquities and their infirmities and all tokens of witchcraft to exit from your body, from your soul, and from your spirit. Command iniquities and their infirmities and all tokens of witchcraft to exit from your body, that is your organs, from your soul, that is your mind, your desires, your emotion, and your heart, and from your spirit. Command them. Command them. Command iniquity and their afflictions and their infirmities. And after you've commanded them, it takes some uh, minutes. The 10 steps, these 10 steps, Minimum, I can take one hour of self deliveries. And I'm telling you, by the time you come to number nine, you will hear, you feel things out of your body. They will roll out invisible serpents, tokens, tumors. All the people that have gone through this, by the time they come to number nine, they are receiving miracles. Hearts are being healed. Invisible snakes and snails are getting out of their bodies. Any deposit of witchcraft is getting out of their wombs, tumors, evil growth. By the time you come to number nine, you are now receiving a miracle. From number one to number nine, you are receiving a miracle. 
you are already receiving a miracle. I'm telling you. If you go through this one by one, you soak the organ, you saturate the soul, forgive yourself, renounce bitterness, you open yourself to the presence of God by calling the fire. You, when you purge, ask God to purge the spirit, you have rebuked stubbornness and the demon of witchcraft. You have lose, you lose yourself from evil covenants and soul ties and vows and agreement. By the time you come to command, by the time you lay hands on your berry, or you lay hands on your head, or you lay hands on your heart, or you lay hands on your legs and cast out iniquity and their infirmities, you will feel that things will be rolled, will be moving away. You will never know that the enemy had put a talk token of witchcraft as a token of poverty in your body. You never know that the enemy had deposited a memory in your soul that brings poverty, that brings rejection. But when you come to this moment of command iniquity, command it to live right now, break its control over your life, you'll be surprised. I always advise people to do this where you know it's safe and secure, where you know that uh, there are no people around you, you are alone in the, you know, because you may begin manifesting and feel ashamed. So you need like in your bedroom, sometimes I do this in my bathroom. Whatever has come out, I throw it out. Because I, this is not just a teaching, this is a reality. You will testify and tell me tomorrow. If you went through these 10 steps, you will tell me, Pastor James, it, it worked. The pain disappeared. By the time I finished, someone called me for a miracle. I was called back for my job. My marriage has been restored. If you carefully go through these 10 steps, during the CDP, we go through these 10. One of the days, we go through the only in whole, a whole day of teaching, we do only these 10 steps. Self-deliverance from witchcraft. And oh my God, because this includes the cleansing of your dreams. This includes the cleansing of your dreams. Okay, so number nine is command iniquity. And lastly, number 10, those are 10 steps. Wash yourself in the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and ask to be filled with a new life, with the new life in the Holy Spirit. Wash yourself in the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ and ask to be filled with a new life in the Holy Spirit. Now that you've gone through the 10 steps, why don't you write these prayers and pray? I know that they will be putting them on the screen on those slides, but uh, now write them quickly. Prayer number one, we call upon the fiery arrow of deliverance to smite the pillar of witchcraft. We call upon the fiery arrow of witchcraft to smite to smite the pillar of witchcraft. Number two, we dislodge every seed of witches from our bloodline through the blood of Jesus. We dislodge every seed of witches from our bloodline through the blood of Jesus. Number three, I declare, I declare that the Lord shall lift a standard against the flood of witchcraft in my family. I declare that the Lord shall lift a standard against the flood of witchcraft in my family. Next, every witchcraft anger, disagreement, conflict, confusion, bitterness, hatred in my ministry, my marriage, and my family must fall now in Jesus' name. Every witchcraft anger, disagreement, conflicts, confusions, bitterness, and hatred in my ministry, my marriage, and my family must fall and die in Jesus' name. Next. Every delay programmed by witchcraft declarations over my family. Let me go slowly. Every delay programmed by witchcraft declaration over my family, my ministry, and my community be dismantled by the voice of God 
witch thunders. Every delay programmed by witchcraft declarations over my family, my ministry, and my community be dismantled by the voice of God with thunders. Let the whirlwind of the Lord blow violently and aggressively against every current wave and cycle of witchcraft. Let the whirlwind of the Lord blow violently and aggressively against every current, every wave, and every cycle of witchcraft. Next, agents of witchcraft occupying my life with false hopes be scattered before the setting of the sun in the mighty name of Jesus. Agents of witchcraft occupying my life with false hopes be scattered before the setting of the sun in the mighty name of Jesus. Next, let every seat of witchcraft in my father's household be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. Let every seat of witchcraft in my father's household be roasted in Jesus' name. Let every seat of witchcraft in my father's household be roasted in Jesus' name. Next, let the thunder of God scatter beyond redemption the foundation of witchcraft in my household in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder of God scatter beyond redemption the foundation of witchcraft in my household in the name of Jesus. Let every inherited seat of witchcraft working against my life presently be Okay, every, let, let the thunder of God scatter. I'll finish that. Okay, let every inherited seat of witchcraft working against my, in my life presently be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Every local and international witchcraft networking with my household witches be shattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. I now break down and tear down and burn to ashes every seed of witchcraft that I ever built by my mouth. I cancel the effects upon my life in the name of Jesus. Lastly, I reverse every mandate given to witchcraft power to supervise my life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that every yoke of affliction be broken right now. Let the heavens break every yoke of affliction upon your life in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of affliction upon your life be broken now. I said every yoke of affliction upon your life be broken now by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the anointing in this meeting, this week, every yoke of affliction, every yoke of shame, be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. The yoke of poverty, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The yoke of shame, the yoke of shame, the yoke of unfruitfulness, be destroyed right now. If the yoke of witchcraft, every witchcraft surrounding your life, be destroyed right now. The altars of witchcraft, I command them to be destroyed. I command the spirit of witchcraft and the power of Jezebel to lose and go, to catch fire and burn to ashes. Every yoke of Jezebel, every yoke of Jezebel upon your marriage be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of Jezebel upon your family be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of Jezebel upon your children be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of witchcraft upon your business be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of witchcraft upon the church be destroyed in the name of Jesus. We destroy the yoke of witchcraft on the church. We destroy the yoke of witchcraft in our city. We destroy the the yoke of witchcraft in our bloodline in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Let 
God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and every witchcraft altar be destroyed. Let God arise and every witchcraft altar be destroyed. Every throne established on witchcraft, we overthrow and break to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. My father and my God, every yoke of poverty upon my bloodline be destroyed. Every yoke of slavery upon my bloodline be destroyed. Every yoke of slavery upon my spouse be destroyed. Every yoke of poverty, every yoke of slavery, every yoke of affliction upon my in-laws be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty, any evil programming, any power programmed to bring confusion and bring poverty and scarcity be destroyed right now. Every power that has embedded themselves in the heavenlies to close the heaven today, I pull you down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. We pull down witchcraft altars. We pull down yokes of wickedness. We pull down governments of evil. My Father, my God, I, de I command the destruction, total destruction of witchcraft yokes. Every yoke of affliction, every yoke of disease, every yoke on your life, every yoke on your, on your body, every yoke in your family, every yoke of barrenness, every yoke of shame, be destroyed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Marakabo shekelea, brikata katabo shakata, rike sekele bobo shata, my God, purging fire, cleansing fire, blood of Jesus, purging fire and the blood of Jesus, purging fire and the blood of Jesus, my God, that tumor disappear, that tumor disappear, that mindiosis disappear, my God, my Father, every witchcraft tumor disappear, arrows of witchcraft in the womb disappear, right now be plucked out, be pulled out, be pulled out to invisible serpents, invisible serpents and snails, invisible coins and, and cow shells, lose right now, be rooted out, vomit them now, be vomited out right now, fire of God, rakatabosha, rikatakosha, masekere bobosha, rikatabobosha, katakatabosha, brikatakarebobosha, kata, fire of Bamakoshita, any attack of witchcraft pursuing you, scatter right now, be disgruntled, destroyed, oh God, makatawosha, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my Father, Lord God Almighty, that man who has been under severe witchcraft attack, oh my God, to that, destroy the power of mental illness, I destroy the spirit of insanity, I destroy the spirit of insanity, my God, my Father, Every lunatic spirit, every spirit in the lunatic system, lose your grip upon that woman. Lose your grip right now because Jesus is setting her free. Then Jesus is healing her soul. Jesus is redeeming her by fire, by force. That chain break right now. That demon break right now. Spirit husband that came out of witchcraft. I command divorce that woman. Get out right now. You spirit husband. Every cell, every power that abused God's people sexually, right now, sexual abuse in the dreams, defilement, abominations, evil conceptions, evil pregnancies, be destroyed right now. Every planting of the evil, the tree of witches, the altar at the gate of your place of work, the altar at the gate of the city, catch fire right now and burn to ashes. Catch fire and let that woman go free. Catch Catch fire and let that man go free. Catch fire and let that ministry go free. Every agent of witchcraft on the altar be exposed and rooted out. Every agent of witchcraft in the worship team be exposed and rooted out. Every agent of witchcraft in the pastoral team be exposed and rooted out. Every agent of witchcraft in my father's house exposed and rooted out. We disarm, oh God. We disarm the priests of witchcraft. We disarm evil priesthood from our bloodline. We disarm the rulers in the territory, the ruling spirit of Lugala, the ruling spirit of Kampala, we disarm you. Every power that gets power from witchcraft, every spirit that rules on the hills of Lubia, we disarm you right now. We disarm you out of the hill. We disarm you and root you out. We root you out of the city. We root you out of the crossroads. We root you out of the city. We root you out of that body. You spirit of premature death. You curse of premature death. I command you now, lose that man and that woman. Let her be firm and strong again. You spirit of of immorality, spirit of fornication.
fornication, spirit of adultery, spirit of lust, loose out, get out, spirit of masturbation, root out right now, spirit of pornography, root out, get out right now, we cast you out right now, we cast you by fire, we cast you in the name of Jesus, get out by fire, get out by fire, witchcraft attacks, mind control, demonic control, spirits controlling, hello, Lakatabosha. let it go by fire, let it go by fire, we cast you out in the name of Jesus. Fire burn, fire burn. Rikoro bobo shikata. Makase kere bobo siya. Agents against WTV. We root you out right now. Powers of darkness against WTV. Against the ministry. We root you out. My father, my God. Spirit of loss, lose and go. Spirit of poverty, lose and go. Spirit of disease, lose and go. Spirit of confusion, lose and go. Addiction, lose and go and never return. Never find a place. Fall right now in the bottomless pit right now. We command to fall in the absy. Loose your mind control spirit. Spirit of depression loose that woman. Lose that man. Pack your bags and live right now. Depression mental illness, insanity bipolar disorder, schizophrenia I command you. Fire burn you. Lose that girl. Lose that man. Lose that woman. Lose that ministry. Lose that family. Lose you Jezebel. Lose and go. Break right now. Break right Right now, break right now. Yes, I sold witchcraft, idolatry in my bloodline, sorcerer, sorceries, sorcerers in the city, sorcerers in my father's house, sorcerers in my father's house. Loose and go by fire, sorcerers in my neighborhood. Loose right now, local covens, local covens. I destroy you now, Father God. I thank you for that young lady being delivered right now, for that man being delivered right now by the fire of the Holy Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for that little girl that's getting free out of the pit oh god my god my father the woman in the forest she's getting free right now the one who ran away from home who is running on the streets right now she's getting free right now i lift her out of the pit i lift her out of the waters i lift her out of the powers of the yoke i break the, the power of the cult i deliver that man from that cult that the power the spirit of the occult lose and go false prophet lose and go diviner lose and go false prophet lose that woman lose that man let them come back to their mind. Restore them, Jesus. Restore them, Lord. Restore them. I come against the spirit of the occult. I come against the spirit of the occult. The spirit of the occult. Freemasons. I come against you right now. Lose God's people. Lose God's people. Bloodshed. Lose God's people. The occult. Lose God's people. Lose God's people. The occult. The serpent. Lose God's people. The throne of darkness. Lose God's people. Lose them and let them be free. The throne of Satan in the city. The throne of Satan. The out of the false prophet. I command you, lose God's people. Lose them right now. Lose them right now. Lose them right now. Lose them. I command the city to be free from the out of the false prophet. The manipulating spirit of the serpent. The manipulating spirit of the snake. Let it die. The snake of the false prophet. Let it die in the mighty name of Jesus. The snake must die. The witchcraft must die. My God, I destroy the priest. My God, I man, I destroy their powers. I root them from my community. I evict them from my neighborhood. I evict them from my city. I evict them from my household. Let God's people be free. Let the sick be healed. Let the blind see. Let the lame hear because the Lord has stretched out his finger to set free the captives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for that lady. Thank you for that brother. Thank you for the finger of God. Somebody right now, the finger of God is touching you wherever you're watching from. The finger of God is touching you mightily. The finger of God is touching you. Brain change, removing curses. Celebrate in the deliverance that has happened where you are. Somebody rejoice, 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 rejoice. Shout a big amen. Shout a big amen. Shout a glorious amen. Shout for the angel of the Lord is moving. I hear the angel of the Lord has opened the door into your room. There's an angel that has entered your room right now. Shout a big amen. There's an angel sent in your room right now. There's an angel sent in your place where you're watching from. There's an angel touching you. An angel sent in the hospital. An angel sent in the hospital. Somebody, you are homeless. You've lost your home. But the angel of the Lord has come and you're getting a home in three days in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone, you are intensive care unit. Be healed right now and woke up and wake up right now. The power to heal. The power to heal is present. The power to heal is present. The power to heal is present. The power to heal in the name of Yeshua. The power to heal has come upon you. The power 
power, the curse is broken. The curse broken, your marriage is restored. Your son is coming home. Your son is coming home. Your daughter is waking up from that deep sleep. Your daughter is waking up from the affliction, mental illness. The power to heal is present. Mazakata katabosha, bleka sikata katabosha, rikete bosha katakata, rikete bobo shandere bobo sa, rikete bobo siya. Someone, there's a lady you've been watching and you've been off from your mind. You lost your mind, but right now you are coming back to your senses. You are coming. I see a lady you're putting on a red dress, and right now the power of God is hitting you mightily. You are waking up from the power of witchcraft, the spirit of witchcraft that brought rejection. Your husband left, your children left there, but you are right now dressed in a red dress. The power the power of God is coming on you mightily. The power of God is coming on you mightily. Someone with a chest infection. The power of God is coming on you mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Oh, somebody, you are rolling on the dust right now like a serpent. Something is moving from your back. Right now, that serpent, that coiled, the spirit of curry, a curry spirit, like a, like, like a serpent in your waist. I put it out right now. I put it right now. It's coming out. Yes, screaming and coming out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out of that woman. Come out in the name of Jesus. Scream and get out. Scream and get out right now by the fire of the Holy Spirit. My Father, my God. Somebody was blind in the left eye. Your eye is being healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody with a left eye blindness. Right now, touch that eye. Touch that eye. You are healed right now in Jesus' name. Somebody lay hands on the, on the head of your husband who has a mental issue right now he's free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ son of the living God someone called Jonathan your mind is healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit by the power a mental illness on Jonathan is disappeared right now someone you got you were hurt you are you are hurt on your on your left ear and it's been swollen for some time the power of God is coming on you right now in the mighty name of Jesus someone with seven seven small tumors in your uterus right now they are flushed out one by one by the fire of the Holy Spirit those were tumors of witchcraft they are being flushed out by the fire of the Holy Spirit Jesus is doing a mighty work Jesus is Lord tonight Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever we give glory to the Lord we thank the Lord for this miracle. We thank God for this liberty. We thank God for the power to heal. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Somebody keep praying, keep worshiping. Shout a big amen. Your miracle has happened. In Jesus' name, amen. WTV Soul Liberty